Are you a free monkey on the land? I mean, a free man on the land? Have you, have you bought basically prime rates for primates? In the world of debt and commerce, did you not realize that in order for you to participate in their law, they even give you the option to be your own lawyer, I mean liar? Did you wake up as the look of the monkey with, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that God's law is supreme, but I can't act with a belief in God's law when I'm operating in with the unbelievers because the unbelievers say you can believe, but your belief is only protected when you just believe. But if you act on your belief and it leads to action while you're carrying something that's contrary to Christ and your Christian belief, which is the surname, you have to give up that belief in order to compromise with the aggregate, which is now happening with all the driver's licenses across the board. Now they've removed, even in Ontario, pictureless driver's licenses. Well, how could it be? I mean, what would a Christian have to do with Gentiles? Certainly Gentiles will make an image of themselves. Idolatry, ID. Therefore, if we do not understand what is going on around us, we have not done the research, well, then we're going to feel like we're going bananas. But I will try to peel these bananas for you so that you don't slip on those slippery bananas of the lawyers. Because what is happening to you is based on belief. And we were researching the word belief today and it led to the word conviction. And we know there's many convicts in prison. Do you know why they're in prison? Because they're convicted by their own belief, which is a false belief, in something that is not true. And because they did not believe in the truth of Christ, and they believed they could be a fiction or a lie, they ended up taking the penalty for the surname, which is the surety for fiction. And therefore, a Supreme Court Justice in the United States made it quite well known when he quoted, there isn't a man or woman sitting in our prison system to date that is not there by their own consent. And consent is a very, very important thing. The problem is people are in fear. They're so concerned that the aggregate they're surrounded with rules that they're afraid to tell the truth. And they're afraid, basically, to stand for righteousness, and therefore they act in bad faith with a bad name, a bad works, a surname, which is what the Roman civil empire under Romans 13 was able to enforce against. They're not a terror to good works, they're a terror to bad. And you can't do good works with a surname. That would be ridiculous in itself. Because the surname comes from nickname, which means evil one. So when we looked at the word belief, leading to conviction, we technically by believing in Christ are really in a, uh, we're a prisoner of conscience, good conscience, because we're doing the right thing. We're doing something morally right and true. And therefore that is why we could either be a slave of Christ, which is a good master, or we could be the slave of a feudal master with our surnames, which basically does not even care for his slaves. He's actually vacated from taking responsibility and is literally under eminent domain passed on the use of his property to a third party and sent the subjects of his authority to their doom as debtors because they're now having to work off the debt that these monarchies 
had basically set up, constituted to create a aggregate of debtors that was never God's plan. But under pagans, their subjects are not sons, true sons. They're debtor sons under bondage. And therefore used as such. Used as common prostitutes for labor, as we've seen through the centuries. And certainly when they colonized, we know it comes from colony, and we know what the colon is, and the colon is very fundamental, which is the fundament. When you look up these words, they're not going to make you feel very warm and friendly, but it really was that you were nothing more than excrement. And that's why the surname was considered a name given to you after birth. So therefore, it's waste. Now, when we go further, um, <clears throat> we are told that when you participate in this belief, because our system operates on faith, the democracy operates on faith, as does God's requirement to operate on faith. One is a true faith, one is a false faith. One has no foundation in reality. It's a false foundation in the world of the aggregate of democracy, but it is not a real true foundation. Because remember, fiction in law is esteemed as truth. So we actually esteem truth with lies. We accept the lie to enforce the law. People who aren't part of that wouldn't be part of that because to do the good works as the fruits of the Spirit are shown in Galatians 5, that there is no law against love, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faith, self-control. But the other things there is, because the surname is a variance, and variances were parts of the works of the flesh, according to Galatians 5, your surname is not your true name, and therefore it identifies you on the other side of war, not peace. So the minute you use the surname, you're disturbing the peace. And you're involved in what is called an implied social contract. Now we're going to break down the word implied. Because lawyers love to use that word, oh, you're involved in an implied social contract when they still got you in there with property and registrations and all the identity cards that have your signature on it, not the government's. So under implied, well, if we break it down, you have to see that there's two words within a word. The English language is like a infinite code at times and there's words within words but when you break down implied because that's kind of supposed purported to be imp and lied is in there implied so when we look at this word imp is a young or small devil now we know the lawyers are nicknamed the devil's advocates for a good reason and queen elizabeth the first set up an organization based on lawyers in the military, called the devil's own. Check that out in the Concise Law Dictionary. Imp, a young or small devil, or demon. A, sh a shoot, graft, and grafted. So there you got imp and lied. So you have a devil liar. And we know the devil lied. Because he made a false offer to the first man and woman, to get them to do something that was treasonous against God, to touch something that was not their property. Don't you feel that that could possibly be the same thing being done again, over and over again, by those who basically could make a, what we consider to be a profitable gain by having you do this? They have no gain, no value made on you when you see the truth. Now, when we went to uh, the word imp, it also had drive or press closely, firmly into something. We know everybody has a driver's license. You have to connect these words together. It's like a big concentration game at times when we're going through this. And if I think if you looked at the 60 plus videos, you'll understand that that's really what's happening here. And hopefully, even if I've taken up 
uh, by your consent to watch the videos, which you can turn off at any time if you do not feel that it is working your way. Uh, the, uh, I couldn't have taken any more than two to three days out of your life if you watched them nonstop. And if you broke it down even over the course of weeks, you certainly have spent a lot longer living than a few weeks. And so therefore I tell people do their due diligence because without that they don't know what they're doing. They're walking blindly, they're walking confused. They're involved in what we call a merger or confusion in law. Merging two things together that don't belong. Now we went to further under implied because there's a trail on this and you'll notice what I do on these videos is based on research that we've done directly out of the dictionary. So we go to the word implied, we get to the word impious. Well, imp is in there also, and again it says not pious. Now we know pious as being a good guy, being very pious, very moral, very true. Not having or not showing reverence for God is impious. Wicked, profane. Even the word wicked is like wicked, burned. Depends on how you say it. Impish, mischievous, trick. Could the surname be a trick to get you to prostitute for someone? To prostrate yourself by speaking a word? By adding diction to your name, which is when you add a surname to your real name, that's add diction. That's a drug, which comes from the word drudge, slave. And people are a slave to the debt. They're a slave to their occupations that have nothing to do with the true God. Christians are promoting and preaching the coming kingdom of God as the solution to remove all the problems that you're seeing out there right now. The whole message of the Bible is God's kingdom coming and God's son ruling and showing man righteous rule for a thousand years. A total solution to the problem. So, we go further Belief, we have conviction, belief, and superstition all connected together when you go and research these words. And we're going to require you to go and do this just as we did because we're not expecting you just to listen to the video. You need to go to the dictionaries yourself. So under conviction, it further says, convicting or being convicted, the appearance or condition of being convinced. Well, in the law, the surname is defined as the appearance of guilt. So in a movie that we have quoted before that was called An Innocent Man, the lawyer who was dealing with a man who had been set up had clearly stated, it's not a question of innocence or guilt. It's about appearance, maneuvering. That's what he's talking about. It's the appearance of the guilt. So when you show up to the court in the name, you are that person. There's no longer any burden of proof upon the crown for the name. You've walked into a trick, a lie, a deceit. You're using property that's a debt, not a credit. And you can't pay debt with debt. That's why the debt is continuing to go up. It's charging, charging, charging. And therefore, by Christ, you were discharged. You have no duty, debt, or obligation other than to love your fellow man, to preach the kingdom of God, and be exempt or immune. But you cannot expect the nation you're around to see you any other way when you're holding on to property. And they, and they know. The bad knows you won't most likely give up all that wonderful debt that you think is an asset. They will control the debt and the debtors and therefore your whole time. You're working for hours. They say you're hours. And you're a puppet because you work for dollars and they say you're dollars. They know these words. They're hieroglyphs and they know that you don't know and therefore you do not know the meaning. Belief is very important, but if you have false belief, 
You believe in a lie, you will be deceived by the lie, and therefore if a man thinketh he is something, when he is no thing, he deceiveth his mind. We're going to go further in this video. The next video is going to be dealing with more in-depth on the word belief, conviction, and superstition.